How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. Uh, normally, I like to have a preview video out on Wednesday during the week of a game, but I have a lot going on this week, and here on Monday night was the best time that I could get this video done and out. Uh, but whatever, doesn't matter. Um, let's get right into it. This week, the Irish will be taking on the Minutemen from the University of Massachusetts. Now UMass, they have only been an FBS football program for about three or four years now. Um, they are part of the MAC Conference, and they are currently 0-2 on this young season, and they're coming off of a heartbreaking shootout loss to Temple. Now UMass is led by head coach Mark Whipple. Uh, this is his, actually his second stint at the university. Uh, he was there one other time, and he actually led UMass to a, a Division I AA championship in the late 90s. Um, now, UMass, from what I, the research that I've done on them, uh, they run a pro-style offense. Uh, they are a very pass-heavy team, uh, still trying to establish the running game a little bit. Um, but uh, hands down, their biggest weapon is their quarterback, uh, Blake uh, Fronifel. I hope I said his name correctly. If I butchered it, I apologize. But this is a... A pretty uh, a pretty big size quarterback, six foot six, about two hundred and thirty pounds. Um, he actually, judging by the numbers, he actually had a pretty good season last year, which was not bad for a three and nine team. Uh, he passed for uh, about a thir little over thirty three hundred yards, twenty three touchdowns to only ten interceptions. So not bad, you know, not bad for a a team that's only been a, a, a FBS school for a few years and plays in a, a mid major conference. Um, but hands down, he's our biggest weapon. Uh, so far in this young season, he has passed for 618 yards, uh, four touchdowns, two picks, and he has a, I believe, a 55% uh, completion percentage, which not too bad for two games in. But anyway, um, judging by this by this uh, team, uh, the deep their defense hasn't been so great. As I said earlier. They're still trying to find a running game. Um, honestly, guys, uh, I'm not trying to sound arrogant or cocky or anything like that, but UMass is, is a team that I feel we should have uh, no problems with whatsoever. Um, now, should, am I saying we should we take them lightly? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You just know that this, this team, even though they've only been an F FBS program for a few years, they're coming to South Bend, and like a lot of, excuse me, like a lot of other teams that come to our, our turf, they they have that this extra adrenaline, this extra spark, this extra fire lit under their butts. They want to do the everything in their power to be able to upset us. And unfortunately, with our track record of playing schools like this, you know, you think of South Florida, you think of of, uh, of Tulsa, um, UConn, uh, Syracuse. And I'm not trying to bring up some bad memories here, but, you know, the bad memories are things that we do need to keep in mind. I mean, those were all schools that, at the time, you know, this I, Syracuse was 08, UConn was 09, Tulsa was in 2010, and South Florida was uh, uh, 2011, I believe. Those are all teams we took for granted, that we thought we were just going to, we could just coast and we were going to walk all over them, no problem end up biting us in the ass. So, honestly, we should treat UMass no different than we have any other opponent on our schedule so far to this point. Um, we have no room to take anybody lightly with, you know, with all the, the, the tough situations we put ourselves in with, you know, guys getting hurt and, um, you know, having to start a backup quarterback to, you know, to take the reins for us. So, we got to give it, we, we just got to bring it. No coasting, no softening up. Just stick it to them. And, but really, like I said, this is a team that we should have no problem beating. I'm not trying to sound arrogant, but we've got so much talent. I mean, we out-talent them. We, out, we, uh, and I know this, a lot of this is based on, on numbers and, and paper, and I get, I, I get it. The game's not played on paper, it's played on the field. But, you, you, you guys have all seen our talent, and I'm sure you've seen bits and pieces of theirs. We outnumber them, we outpower them, we outtalent them. So, before I start repeating myself, that sums it up right there. 
should have no problem uh, going up against their defense. Um, should have no problem. Sh as good as uh, that Blake Fronapel or Fronapel, however you say his name, no matter how decent of a quarterback he is, we should have no problem shutting him down. I mean, our defense especially got a big confidence boost this past weekend against Georgia Tech. So, yeah, this is a game that we should have no tr no problems winning. We should win it lopsided. We should win it in lopsided fashion, in my opinion. So with that, I'm going to say a score prediction uh, in this one of 42 to 10. Um, I'd like to see it be more, but I'm going to play it safe. I think we, I think we are capable of putting up at least 40 points on these guys. Um, but um, you know, and aside from that, there's really not much more I can say about this game except we got to play smart football. We can't make any mistakes. We got to protect the football. Um, you know, hurt us a couple times uh, this past Saturday. So we, you know, and it, it could, it could have, it really could have hurt us. I mean, thank, thank God it didn't, but it could have. So can't make any mistakes. So, with that said, guys, um, I know this is kind of a bland preview, but you know, it's a, it's a team that's only been an FBS team for a few years. So give me a break. Uh, so, with that said, guys, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off. As always, God bless, and go Irish, baby! Beat Minutemen!